Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming. In my other video, I demonstrated offerings by ggplot to visualize data distribution. In that video, I demonstrated at the end rain cloud plot. It was a brief one for the elegant data visualization called as rain cloud plot. Rain cloud plot is combination of stat half i, geom box plot and stat dots. The geoms can be modified or other geoms can be added to get variants of rain cloud plot to make the visualization more impressive. Let's get the rain cloud plot and we'll start with loading the library ggplot2 and then library ggdist for the geoms stat half i and stat dots. We'll run that and we are going to use dataset iris. We'll see what is there in iris using head function. Four numeric variables are there and one categorical variable is there. What is there in categorical variable? We will see str iris scalar spaces. And you can see here that it's a factor with three levels, setosa, versicolor and virginica. And we'll use the rain cloud plot to see uh, distribution of sepal length in these three varieties and for that we'll call ggplot first argument is the data next argument is aesthetic mapping aes and there spaces will be the x variable sepal dot length will be the y variable and we will fill those structures as per spaces so that all three spaces will be visualized and those borders or lines will be colored again according to spaces and we'll first have the half i layer stat half i and we'll run that and the half i is there we'll adjust alpha is equal to 0 0.5 and we'll run that half i geom is ready for us then geom box plot geom box plot we'll run that this box width is quite high therefore we'll reduce that width is equal to 0 0.12 and we'll have alpha also 0 0.3 and this box is overlapping therefore we'll use justification justification is equal to minus 0 0.2 to shift this uh, half i to the right hand side and we'll run that and half i got uh, this shifted and we have box plot and this segment which is there with the box plot with median lines for uh, mean plus minus one standard deviation or mean plus minus two standard deviations to show 67 percent and 95 percent data respectively these are overlapping with the box plot and this looks good and provides some information also we'll keep that that can be removed but we'll keep that for now and then we'll add stat dots and we'll see what happens those dots are towards the left hand side we'll change the side is equal to those are towards the right hand side we'll bring those to left hand side left side left is the argument and size of those dots also will adjust that is through bin width bin width is equal to 0 0.05 and we'll run that and dot size is sufficient but this is overlapping dots are overlapping with the box plot therefore again we will use justification is equal to 1.1 to shift the dots slightly away from the boxes <coughs> justification 1.1 dots are not overlapping the box now and looks quite good here we'll have the adjust is equal to 0 0.3 and the half i will correspond now to the density shown by the dot plots now this is rain cloud plot we'll uh, make it horizontal by using cord flip and we'll run that spelling mistake is there we'll remove that cord flip and uh, horizontal is there uh, we'll change the theme theme 
underscore black and white we will use the theme got changed and then we'll have the legend removed because this legend is redundant uh, the same information is there on the x-axis therefore theme in bracket legend dot position is equal to none none run that and now we have a good uh, red cloud plot now we'll see variations of this plot and to get variations we'll copy this and some geoms we are going to change now we'll get variants of red cloud plot we'll copy this code for that and we will change this geo stat dots to geome dot plot geome dot plot and this is ggplot geome and that geome will change this attributes and that attributes first is bin axis is equal to y and then dot size is equal to 0 0.3 we will make we'll run that to see the effect and plots are there now the direction of these dots will change using the stack direction stack direction and that will make it to center and we'll run that and this is one good variant of rain cloud plot another variant of rain cloud plot will copy this code and here instead of this dot plot we'll change it to geom jitter and this dot plot specific arguments will change and we'll run to see what is happening to the plot and these points are highly jittered very away from each other therefore we'll use position is equal to position jitter and there width is equal to 0 0.1 and we'll run that and this jitter plot is there okay, this is also good plot shows local density of points which are overlapped on this box and this can be correlated to this half eye plot also to get another variant we'll copy this code again and we'll bring here and this time we will use geom b swarm instead of this jitter geom b swarm and this geom is coming from library ggb swarm and no requirement of these attributes now it's very easy to use and we'll see how it looks like again the local densities can be highlighted with the uh, geom half eye please practice plotting the data if you like this video please click the like button subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed Press the notification button to get notifications of my video and share this video with your friends. Thank you.